Welcome to LearnWire. In this video, we will be taking a look at SEODity, or uh, COODity. I, I believe you actually call it COODity as one word. A lot of people um, have been calling it SEODity, but if you actually watch the review videos, even from AppSumo, it's COODity. Um, so we're going to be looking at COODity and sheer SEO. I know a lot of you been have been waiting for this, and if you actually look, um, they're both both tools are out of here. Both tools are leaving very quickly. Sheer SEO will be out in seven days and uh, COTD will be out in 10 days. Now, to give uh, Sheer SEO, I'll give them a little bit um, of uh, leeway, if you will, because they have been on the platform for months. Uh, if you actually look at my channel, let me go back real quick. If we come over here and do a search for Sheer SEO, uh, I'm ranked number one for that. That's really cool. But um, I did this review five months ago and I remember doing this uh, review before this, uh, you know, caught momentum on AppSumo. Uh, as you can see, all these other um, channels um, are, you know, did this a month ago. We even have Sheer SEO. Um, people are doing the same video as that I'm doing right now. Um, but uh, they did that 14 hours ago and stuff. Um, and some of these other channels that, you know, they do they do specifically do these kind of reviews. Um, th th this really caught uh, kind of momentum and stuff um, like a month ago. So everyone's been really hyping this tool, but I actually did the review five months ago uh, right here. And I'm sure a lot has changed um, with the tool and everything. So it'll be nice to go back in. Um, and I don't see any other um, way to... Uh, to actually uh, show you guys everything um, unless I buy both tools. So I'm going to go ahead and buy both tools, uh, probably tier one of both tools. Um, but anyways, I just wanted to say that Sheer SEO, they're not packing up shop and just leaving because something suddenly, you know, they're getting too many customers or something like that. Um, they've been on, they've been on AppSumo for at least five or six months, right? But uh, COTDY is another story. They're leaving in 10 days. And it's a little interesting because they have not been on the platform very long. And it is interesting because when we come down here, um, one thing that I'm really just, I think it's, um, it's one of those things where they're kind of taking away that freedom from us to know when people made comments. And I think that that's important for people's research. If you're researching when comments were made and things, um, and when we come down here, uh, let's see the um, introduction over here. I don't have a date. So so AppSumo has just completely wiped all the dates from comments. Like right here, here's the latest comment or question. There is no date on here. We have no idea when this person, I, and I'm pretty sure they, they published this It's uh, today, you know. But they took off the dates. This is just one of those things that's just really not cool. Uh, and I'm sure you guys would agree with this. Uh, drop a comment below if you agree that there's something a, a little interesting going on with even just AppSumo. Um, to be honest, I, I don't understand why uh, they took the dates, the dates off here. These timestamps stamps are important for us to know uh, how long it took for someone to respond to a question. Sometimes people will make a purchasing decision based off of the customer support. And this is a, one of the ways that we have to judge the customer support. If it takes five days to answer a question on AppSumo and you're making hundreds of sales a day, like then that's showing that you don't care about your customers, right? So that's one thing that's just a really hard to get to the bottom of what's going on when you don't even have the timestamps, right? When I come up here, it doesn't even have a timestamp of when this actually uh, came to AppSumo. We know it's been on for literally maybe six weeks, maybe eight weeks. Correct me if I'm wrong uh, down below, but not very long at all on the site. They do have a public roadmap. Uh, let's go and open that one up. We'll look at it in a little bit. Um, now you guys join me for this video um, because this is going to be a pretty long video and I'm just going to warn you guys, if you guys really do want to dive into both of these, I'm going to be uh, diving into both tools, putting in one of my main websites and really doing some comparison keyword researches with both tools and really you're going to, um, you're going to want to stick around because I, I have planned all these different things. I'm going to compare the analysis of my website for both tools, compare how keywords how many keywords it finds that I'm ranking for. I'm going to compare the metrics. I'm going to check keyword trackers on both tools. Um, hopefully within the time of doing this uh, review, I'll be able to at least get some information on that, um, on the keyword uh, tracker. 
Compare keyword research. This is probably the biggest one that I think is the most important because I use those tools, Ahrefs and SEMrush and all the uh, Uber Suggest and different tools like that. Um, 95% of how I use the tool is keyword research and competitor research, right? So this is the big, big one I think that most um, other people would agree with. Um, so we're going to make some searches right here and compare how many keywords it brings back, what the keyword difficulty level is. And I may have to bring in another tool for reference um, to see where these tools um, are at. Um, and then I'm going to give a conclusion and then we're going to give some scores right here. OK, and then I'm going to kind of pick a winner. So you guys want to stick around. It is going to be a long video. So, you know, you guys, um, you know, I hope you guys enjoy it. You guys will um, hopefully hopefully the, the the reason for this video is that um, you know, I'm on the fence between the two tools as well. And hopefully during this review, it will also help me make a decision um, if I'm going to refund one or if I'm going to go ahead and just keep both um, and use one for, a, you know, a different site, things like that. Right. So um, but like I said, going back to this, it just annoys me because uh, like right here, here's um, COTA D. Someone's asking leaving so early. Any specific reason? Um, there are some different things. <clears throat> You, it's very important. You guys won't be able to upgrade any tiers after the um, AppSumo campaign. So you guys you do need to decide uh, what's going to be right for you. Um, um, there's been some really big stuff uh, about the exporting capabilities um, in Ciota D where they only let you do 50 lines. But um, the creator has addressed this several times that they are going to uh, wherever it's at. They're going to um fix that and let us do more um exports um i sorted this by the worst reviews um over here kind of um that this person was having a major issue with uh, the adding key keywords to the rank tracker and that was the biggest reason why they bought the tool so we'll have to pay attention to that and see you know what that was sorry to hear you've had a bad experience and like right here i wish i knew like that they asked the question and then they came back within 24 hours um, or if it was 10 days or what right so like why did AppSumo take that away why did they take and you know i mean i'm a businessman and they that impacts sales right so people and what what they don't really understand what AppSumo doesn't understand is that when people when when we can't see the dates on this we may just not even make the purchase at all Right. And so, but they have the numbers, they have the numbers and, um, it's just really disappointing, you know, uh, being a, uh, um, an app sumo uh, affiliate, um, things like that bother me as well. And it actually only hurts us and hurts our reputation, um, app sumo and app sumo affiliates. Um, and, um, it does, it, I don't, th I don't see any good outcome by removing, uh, things that were already here for uh, years and then taking that away from people to be able to see like, Oh, when was the date on that? So, um, that's my rant. Uh, I've mentioned it several times. You guys drop a comment below if you guys agree with that. And if you guys actually noticed some weird things going on, uh, on the platform, but, um, there's some other stuff going on here and so forth. So, um, overall good, uh, scores on both tools though. Um, COTD only got 17 reviews though, and sheer SEO uh, ended up getting 52 reviews, both, um, you know, averaging a, a good score, but uh, a little bit more, a little bit better score on sheer. If you look at it right here, and then also, uh, you know, three times the reviews so that you just kind of have to take that into consideration a little bit. So let me go back and I'm going to purchase these uh, tier ones and then we'll be back. But just remember, they're only around for 11 days for COTD and uh, eight days for uh, Share SEO. So let me go purchase these and we'll be back and we'll jump into uh, the testing. All righty. So we're in the tools we purchased. We redeemed. They were very easy for both tools to redeem the codes. Uh, so here we go. We're in uh, COTD right now. We're in license tier one active. Um, it's going to tell you what your limits are right here. I'm not really sure what lighthouse analysis uh, per month is, but they do go into explaining that. Um, but really 300 keywords is the tracker. So that's important uh, competitors um, and uh, how many web pages. Um, I don't know if, how, if that's how many it can crawl from your website per month or other websites. And then you can an analyze up to 20,000 backlinks. Um, so let's go ahead and push start and I'm going to add my project in here and then there is an advanced right here. Um, you can choose the different limits and uh, things, but I'm going to go with the standard for now and then just push the next step.
So it's going to go in and it's going to um, check on my website real quick, uh, hopefully pull in some keywords that it's already kind of suggesting or finding for us. While it's doing that, um, let's go bounce over to Shear. We already signed up to Shear SEO as well, and it's going to come up and um, it's going to find different things um, that so search volume, uh, cost per click, um, the search term, uh, uh, United States local, and then it but it doesn't say what we're currently ranking for. Um, from a different location. Okay, so we're going to the United States. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just add uh, some of these that are basically suggestions. Um, probably not, actually. Those ones are not good keywords. Let's take those ones off. Um, some of the ones that I know that I should uh, rank for, I'm going to go ahead and throw in here. All right, so I've got 10 keywords. I'll probably just copy these um, for the test, right? So copy those. Um, let's actually throw one in. Okay, so I went to SERP Robot where I, that's what I've been using right now to track keywords. And I know that I'm in the top 10 for this keyword. So I just wanted to throw in there to make sure that we, you know, had one that was in a ranking in the top 10. Submit to finish sign up. Here we go. So that's about 11 keywords. It's going to go out there and uh, we'll just kind of see right here um, on the screen. Uh, maybe this, this starts finding very quickly. So this is impressive. Um, sometimes you sign up to these tools, you put the keywords in and you actually have to wait, you know um hours and for it to kind of update and actually go out and find the keywords <clears throat> right now uh sheer seo is uh, impressive in the fact that it's searching for the keywords and then also it searches for um up to 200 right it does search for um up to 200 key uh like in the top 20 pages. So 95% of keyword re, uh, tracker tools only search the top 10 pages or the top 100 search results. In this case, Sheer SEO is actually uh, searching for uh, up to 200. So that's 20, that's 20 pa Google pages. Really cool. I thought that I was ranking for Linktree uh, free versus pro, but maybe I wasn't ranking for that one. But you can see uh, I didn't find some of these. Um, and then it did find you know, make money viewing videos, Fiverr charge sellers. And these are just random keywords that it found. Uh, I'm ranking for a lot more keywords than this, but I just wanted to put some in here, like right here, DoorDash starting points is an article that I published uh, like a week or two ago, uh, ranked number 16. Um, it tells you that the URL is really good. So you can see DoorDash starting points. I'm literally optimized hundred percent for that keyword. And I'm, we're ranked almost on page one, super cool stuff. We're ranked number six right here, and that is what SERP Robot is saying as well for this keyword, so that's really good. Uh, best remote jobs for van life, 62. Okay, so really good. Uh, let's go back over to COTD. Okay, so we're in COTD, and here are the keywords that it's kind of pulling in for us. You can see that it, it did pull in a lot more keywords, so that's something that I'm noticing. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. So it pulled in 40 keywords right here that it's wanting me to uh, measure. And I'm kind of deciding, do I want to add the same exact keywords? I probably should, so you can see the accuracy. But um, this is impressive that it is pulling in a ton of keywords that your site like I'm, I'm ranking for all these different keywords that already pulled in. So just wanted to show this to you guys that this part, um, I think COTD wins on the onboarding process with your site um, and finding keywords for you to input into the tracker. But we are going to go ahead and just paste in the keywords that I um, put in the other one. So we can kind of test. Um, is it not letting us do that? It said something like it's it's too long to put the, those keywords in. So you guys can see I'm copying these, copy, and it's not letting me. I tried Control V and even paste, and it's not. One of the pro keywords provided is too long. Enter a keyword with less than 250 characters. So, um, you know, should be able to type in a keyword but we're having some issues there. So I'm not going to be able to do a straight test like that, but I'm sure um, that's going to be okay, guys. So let's go ahead and just do what the tool is wanting us to do. So we're going to add in some keywords right here. Okay, so I added in 11 keywords right here. We're going to say start analysis, and it's going to give you an onboarding uh, video. I'm going to skip that for now. 
And then you can see right here that it's already um, very fast. Um, top keywords right here. We'll come back to this in a minute. Um, we have some basic information about the site over here. Um, but I want to go over to the rank tracker and just kind of see analysis in progress. Okay. So we're going to come, we'll come back to the rank tracker there. Let's go pull up our sheet over here. So the analysis of my website for both, uh, key, uh, for both tools. All right. So we're on CO to D domain overview. Um, this is something that I reached out to. You guys can go and watch my uh, original review where I thought it was kind of interesting that they have a domain rank over here. Um, and they're saying that this is the actual original way, but I don't know anybody that goes off of this kind of domain rank with uh, numbers up to, you know, like 700, um, and things like that. Um, I'm used to the Moz DA, you know, where it's zero to 100. So I kind of don't really like this. Um, I don't really know what that means, uh, 163, but I know that my DA is about a 26. So that just gives you a reference right there. So this isn't really too helpful for me when I don't use this kind of number in my reference. And I did an ask them and then they just kind of, they did answer me straightforward, but they, they have no intention of changing this to a Moz, uh, metric. So if that's a very important thing, like if you're using this tool to, you know, rate, um, you want the DA in this tool. Um, and I don't believe that share SEO even uses that they use, uh, more of majestic, um, metrics, um, like trust flow and things like that. So, um, that's just one of the disappointments. I wish that it was a standard domain rank and uh, domain authority. Um, but organic keywords is 286 organic traffic paid traffic. I'm not currently running any ads, so that's, uh, that's accurate backlinks and referring domains all uh, within the within a realm of uh, where I um, sit in other tools like Uber suggest and uh, SEMrush. I mean, sorry, uh, Ahrefs. So here's all the different uh, keywords. Um, there's a United States um, there's two United States. Um, this top one over here, English United States right here, um, traffic um, right here. So you can actually come in you can look at top keywords or organic shares overview. So I'm actually going to go through and click this one right here. And here are all these uh, check more in organic traffic. So here are all the different uh, rankings. Uh, it kind of does it in an iframe pop up window. Not really sure. We can click this button here or we can actually just go um, and I, I'm just going to click on the organic keyword section. It's going to automatically take us over to the organic section over here. And, um, it's going to tell us we've lost, um, traffic here, new traffic there. Um, I'm not really sure what, uh, up and down means. I guess it's just, we're up 114, down 38. Um, I overall, um, I will say that the, the UI, um, is, I really like, uh, everything seems very fast, um, uh, in Seodity uh, and the, um, so I like the user interface and then everything seems just kind of crisp and clean and, um, just seems like it's, it, it works really well. It's easy to read and follow. I said this in my original review. I like how everything is just laid up here. Um, as they build more tools, which uh, they're probably going to have to, they're going to have to figure out how to fit it all up here on the top. But right now, uh, for the time being, it's nice that just there's just the menu up up at the top and there you don't have to worry about all these menus on the left and up at the top, which starts getting confusing for beginners. Right. Um, so I like this. I like the UI. It gives you an overview of the ranked keywords like we have one in the top uh, number one and then two to three. So we're really our site has a lot of potential because we have 35 keywords that are ranking on page two. So this gives you a nice overview of like um, where you sit. Look at the potential of the site that in the top 100, we have a ton of keywords that ju we just need backlinks. We need to push over to get into these right over here. Right. So super cool. Um, we're going to scroll down here and just see. Um, I, I like the way that it, it tells you um, where it's changed. And this is very interesting to me because um, you know, we just now put this site in here and it's finding this information that this went up 63 spots and now is ranked number 11 for how to start a trucking business with no money. That is interesting because we just started, right? It has no other data to reference, but it somehow knows. Um, and that means that they're getting their data from a database that has this information is what that tells me. That means that they're getting this information from AHREFs or Moz or something like that, where 
you know, they, they, they get all that data and, and uh, the tool is sophisticated enough and it knows that we just gained 63 spots for this keyword. Um, super cool. If we wanted to, we could come through here and push the show more button. And then it's going to go and give us keyword suggestions, ideas, related keywords, um, how to start a trucking business with no money. That's the one right there. So check more in keyword search or keyword ideas right here. And it's going to give us more stuff that's related. That's not, none of that's related, related keywords. Okay. So here's the stuff that is more on the long, along the lines of the trucking, how to start a trucking, um, business. Uh, so this is the one right here with bad credit. That might be a good keyword right there as well. It tells you what the keyword difficulty uh, score is. We'll come back and check that. Um, we'll test it probably against Uber suggest, um, in a minute, but this is, uh, what it looks like right here. You can select these over here and add them to rank tracker if you want to uh, paid traffic. We're going to skip that this time uh, because we're not doing paid track traffic on this site. Let's um, before we move on from here, let's go and catch up the way that I'm doing this one is I don't want to lose you guys. Um, I want to kind of follow along if I can um, with both softwares. So here we are back into here um, into the sheer SEO and it did find these different keywords for us. It actually gives the um, SERP features over here, which is nice. And they have a different layout. Uh, all their um, options are on the left side. It does look like they have more uh, tools um, inside of this, um, inside of their tool. Uh, so we're going to go over here. I'm going to go click on, so this is our current rankings. Um, that's probably where we're at right here. That's that says current right here. Uh, we can go to history, uh, single keyword snapshot rank progress. So we can put in a single keyword right here and actually see like that is at number six, but we don't really have a history in here, but you can actually dive into, um, you can dive into any of your keywords and actually look at them, uh, from this angle, like on a very, very granular, um, you know, intricate level. Um, that's really cool. You can look at snapshots as well of your different um, keywords and stuff. So they have a really good rank tracker um, in here. Um, they give you more information. They have uh, charts in here to look at and such. So, I mean, at the end of the day, this one would probably win as far as the information that it would give you. But the, like I said, um, the, the crispness and um, the UI, I'm thinking overall um, the UI um, CO to D wins a little bit on the UI. Um, I have to give them a little bit more points. I don't know why it just seems um, like a easier tool. Um, we're going to go into competitors, organic um, search keyword gap. I think that that one's going to be a really good one to look at. So I'm going to put one in here. I'm going to put financial wolves in push search. And it already knows what my website is. So it'll be interesting to see if it like, or it kind of is able to do this competitor analysis inside of here. Um, I'm trying to get to the point where I can just look at the keywords that my site's ranking for. I mean, not the keywords, but, um, the, the metrics of my site. So I might need to go to the dashboard actually. Okay. So here's competitor, uh, keyword analysis. Um, it's finding 30,000 keywords right here. Uh, really cool stuff. Now, just for a frame of reference, I'm going to go ahead and bring up Uber suggest because I have a lifetime, um, subscription to Uber suggest. And you could argue, but arguably say that this is one of the, um, largest, uh, keyword databases, um, that you can get besides Ahrefs and, uh, SEMrush. Um, it's at least comparative to them. Uh, it's a really large, uh, database that you're going to get. Um, since I have a lifetime deal, I use this tool uh, quite often and um, it's a, it's a pretty solid tool. It's a little slow at times, but in some respects it's understandable as well uh, with the probably millions of people using the tool. Okay. So we pulled up the financialwolves.com in here and they have eight, they're ranking for 89,000 right over here. And when we can look over here, top keywords by country. So this is pulling in 44,000 keywords in Uber suggest and Shear is pulling up 30,000 words. And then let's go into here and I'm going to go into uh, keyword research real quick. Um, can we put it in a domain? No, we're going to go right here to domain overview and we'll just put in um, their site as well. 
So they have a higher domain rank. Um, they have, and then they're getting, it's pulling 60,000 keywords right here. So um, for me, let's see, backlinks 44K. Um, it, uh, so Seodity is pulling in 44,000 backlinks. Uber suggests 35,000. And I'm not on the right page to see that. So we'll, um, I'm, I'm kind of jumping around a little bit, guys. Sorry about that. So here's where you would use the keyword gap, insert up to three competitors. Um, so it's going to take your site. We're going to put that competitor in here real quick. Before I leave this section, I want to make sure that I go ahead and show you this real quick before moving on to the next. Thing. Okay, perfect. So <clears throat> before we move on to checking the backlinks, um, I wanted to just show the keyword gap because the keyword gap is going to be a, a differentiator between Seodity and Sheer SEO. So if you really want to use the keyword gap feature, um, Sheer SEO wins on that point for sure, uh, because this isn't even a feature that's available inside of um, Seodity. So uh, we have the 44,000 over here and you're going to be able to see the keyword difficulty um, right over here and then where um, your competitor ranks is right here how many estimated clicks they're getting volume and so forth they have additional uh, filters that you can put on over here so if you want to see um, rank financial wolves right here estimated clicks so if you wanted to look at stuff that they're ranking uh, 50 to 100 on um, you could do that and push apply filters it's going to go out and find keywords that your competitor is ranking between 50 and 100. They're probably not optimized for, but they are showing up for because maybe there's not a lot of um, good uh, pages to be able to rank. Um, and so that might, these might pull up uh, different opportunities. Um, while sitting here, um, I can see that this is a, it's a little uh, on the slower side, the way that it's collecting the data. Um, I did have to sit here. I paused the video a minute ago while it's, um, so this is the third time now that I'm having to kind of pause the video um, and wait for it to pull in data where it should already be able to just filter this out. It already has the information. It already has the 44,000 keywords and it should be able to uh, do this a lot faster. Um, so it, that takes a while. That that part is a little annoying, um, just the wait time. I think we've gotten spoiled with um, speed and we, we like speed when we're trying to research um, this kind of information. So um, here is uh, the keyword difficulty right here. We could even come in here and now find keyword difficulties over here. Um, we could even go further with our um, a, a filter and say the keyword difficulty. Um, we want this to be zero to uh, maybe 15. I'm going to say apply filters and we'll be right back. OK, so I just paused the video for like 20 to 30 seconds and it, the wheel is still spinning right here. So I wanted to just show you guys that you know, all we're trying to do is put in we just added one little keyword filter here to these keywords that the system already has. So literally, if you imagine like an ex Microsoft Excel filtering a database, um, it does it almost instantaneously within microseconds uh, because the data is already there in Excel. And that is somewhat the way that this uh, information does work. So that means that there's an internet connection, uh, you know, there's, there's bandwidth connectivity issues with why this is taking so long. Um, of course, Share SEO is being hit by a ton of customers on AppSumo, so I have to at least understand that um, and give them a little bit of leeway with that. But still, um, that is it should be able to do uh, this kind of uh, filter very easily, and it's just timing out. It's just not performing the way that I would expect. So later on when I give the um you know if i mark down uh share seo on speed or bugs um you guys will understand why um, because i'm showing you like i can't even move on with uh the the rest of that part so we're just going to actually move on guys um but this is this was going to find the keyword difficulty of zero to 15 and uh, this kind of unique these unique keywords i um you know i want to say that the keyword gap function with the, the competitors is um a really great tool that the other tool of CO today doesn't have. But again, we're sitting here for uh, minutes now uh, without it showing us what's going on. Now there's a bunch of different other things that we can go in here and click on check new URL. I'm going to go ahead and just throw this one in uh, create report for a massive site, financial wolves. Um, and then the tools right here, just keep going down. There's a ton of tools um, on Share SEO. Uh, I don't know why it just uh, kicked us out of that report. 
um, it is saying that we have to wait. And then you guys just saw that I, I tried twice. I put in a URL here and I pushed create report, no analyzed URLs yet to analyze the backlinks of a URL. Use the check new URL form uh, above. And we just tried that twice and it kicked us out, booted us out. So that is kind of a bug going on um, right now as well. So that are, they're getting docked on that on my review as well. Um, so I'm going to go back up here uh, to, well, let's just go before we go back up to the dashboard over here. I want to go and check um, just keywords, um, the keyword explorer tool. So keyword ideas um, where this should be one of the biggest reasons why people use these tools is to do um, keyword research. So what we're going to do is we're going to start our keyword research testing with the uh, so make money online right here. I'm going to throw that one in. We're just going to leave it on a contains phrase search ideas. Um, also ranks for planner suggestions. I probably should have maybe clicked that one. Let's see what happens. But contains phrase is the one that it naturally um, shows up on. I, I really don't know if I really want to start off my keyword research with this. I want it to just give me everything that it has in its basket for make money online. It, and it can be in any variety of way, any different meaning, any related or suggested keywords. That's what I want, right? But I don't want to narrow it down to these and it's having us narrow that down. So um, I would expect it. Okay. So it finally came up with the keywords. I would have expected it to be faster than that. Um, it only found 900 keywords right here for make money online. Now it does have it has have to have it in the phrase. Um, we can look at the keyword difficulty. Uh, let's do a keyword. Let's do a difficulty check. Uh, make money online. Uh, let's find one. Um, let's maybe find something that like right here. Uh, quick ways to make money online. Okay. So they're saying it's a keyword difficulty of 35 right here. Okay. 1300 search volume. So I'm going to say copy. We're going to go into COTD and uh, perform a, we're going to go into keyword research and we're going to throw this in right here. Quick ways to make money online, search keywords, and just look how lightning fast this tool is. Um, very impressive. Uh, COTD is just a lot smoother. Things just happening faster. Um, and that's just kind of the experience that I'm getting. Uh, we're getting the search volume cost per click and the the keyword difficulty. Now, quick ways to make money on a line. Um, they're saying the keyword difficulty is 100 um, an estimate keyword difficulty. So they're saying 100 right here. Cost per click six, um, six dollars, 67 cents. And it's 71 cents over here. Um, and then 1300 search volume. Um, and then this one is 2.9 K search volume. So the tools couldn't be any further away from the data that they're bringing you. I hope you guys see this, right? Uh, literally like the K the KD score from both tools couldn't be on opposite spectrums anymore. Uh, quick ways to make money online um, is 35 in sheer SEO and it's a hundred in um, COTD. Then cost per click, is, uh, what, what would you say? Um, 50 times greater in, um, in COTD than it is in sheer at just 71 cents. Search volumes only 1300 in sheer SEO, but then we have 20, almost 3000 over here. So the nothing even comes close with the comparison of that keyword. Um, it, it, so that is, it's alarming, but it's also expected. Uh, we could pull up 10 different keyword tools and they would be all over. If we were doing a plot chart, you would see that there's going to be discrepancies like crazy, um, in every tool, right? But these are drastic drop offs. I mean, these are just completely, uh, not even in the same neighborhood. Let's see what Uber suggests says about this keyword, right? So I'm going to come over here to keywords, um, keyword overview. I'm going to throw that keyword in and we're going to push search <clears throat> super fast. <clears throat> this is what a tool's supposed to do, right? So the pay difficult or the search difficulty is an 80. So this is very much closer with, this is very close to um, what COTD is telling us. Okay. So we have a SEO score of 80 and COTD had it at a hundred. 
but you wouldn't want to go after this keyword period with both those tools. But the problem is, is that with sheer SEO, <clears throat> it has the KD um, of 35 and that would leave you room to be like, okay, so it's on the, it's on the easy, um, entering into medium mode, right? So this is easy, medium, definitely not medium, hard or hard. Um, this is more on the easy, medium side from zero to a hundred. And so some people would, you know, especially new SEOs would possibly go for that keyword, but there's no way in hell that they're going to actually rank for quick ways to make money online. It's extremely competitive. I agree with Uber suggest and COD that this is a keyword you would want to stay away from. Now search volume was 2,900, right? <clears throat> 1300 right here in sheer and COD was, um, 2.9 thousand. So it was exact, the exact of Uber suggest, but they're not getting their data from Uber suggest because we have an 80 right here. And, um, COD has a hundred and they're saying to stay away. And the plus the cost per click is $4 here and COD. Um, also if we're doing the prices, right, COD comes, um, comes in a lot closer than sheer. So um, it's just for metric purposes. If I was doing keyword research in here, um, I got to say um, COD wins on this one as far as accuracy. We could go check more keywords. Um, we're, actually, that's what we're going to do. Let's go real quick. Um, let me try to speed through these and just check these real quick. I'm going to come back to it, but we're going to come through here because this one takes a lot of time as well. And I'm going to say planner suggestions this time. Can't camping for beginners. And then we're going to come back over here and we're going to, cause we have to have a reference point, right? And Uber suggest, I think is a solid reference point, solid tool, um, to see what we're going to work with. So, um, we have camping for beginners. We have a 48 difficulty score, 94 cents here and a thousand search volumes, right? Right here. Okay. Um, so sheer, sorry, we, I'll only have planner suggestions for high volume keywords. Okay. Um, how is that not a high volume? It's a thousand. Um, okay. So we're going to go ahead and just say contains words. Let's see if it'll rank for that. Okay. So it found 24. Um, where is the keyword we're looking for? Okay. That's not working. Let's just say, let's just go with the contains phrase. It's not finding camping for beginners. I just want to check this keyword right here. Camping for beginners. Um, and we're not able to see this information right here. Um, I'm confused because why am I not able to just find, I just want to look for organic research. Maybe, um, that's nice. It does find some competitors for you right here, which is really nice. But <laughs> keyword idea is this is where I should be able to put in the keyword that I want to, to look up and it's just not working. So if you're doing keyword research and you actually want to check the diff keyword difficulty score, unless I'm in the wrong place or the wrong area, um, you know, this is, this is frustrating. It shouldn't be this hard. Um, this is the keyword research section. Um, I just don't really know how else I can pull up this keyword right here, like where it should be at the top, right? The keyword that I'm looking for right here should be the top one. And then like other tools and just go down from there. Um, I, I'm not seeing it anywhere contains phrase. That was the, that was, it should be in this one and it's not it's just giving us a bunch of other stuff right here. So, um, this, I mean, this there's, that's not working. That wouldn't work for keyword research for me. Um, tent camping for beginners. We're going to have to go, let's just, uh, switch the keyword up real quick, guys, tent camping. We'll go with a specific keyword here and we'll come over here and we'll throw this one in over here. So tent camping for beginners, tent camping for beginners. See, it's at the top, easy to find. It's a 47, a dollar 19 and 140 search volume. We'll go over here, um, 170 search volume. So it's close. Um, at least we can see something that's a lot closer. The cost per click isn't even close though. Again, we have a 0.12 cents and you got to think that there's, there's more than 12 cents for that keyword. Um, and so they have a dollar 19 over here and then 140 uh, search volume keyword difficulty is 57 on, on this um, score, but then over here it's a 47. So again, um, not close enough. The cost per click isn't close enough. The search volume was the only thing that's close and the KDs um, were somewhat close. Let's see what Uber says about this 140. Um, so 140. So um, COD would win. In comparison, um, the difficulty is 56. 
um, let's see right here. The difficulty right here is a 47 and then a 57 right here. So then in this one, Shear would win on the difficulty level on that one. And then uh, 65 cents, um, and it looks like it's right in the middle, kind of uh, $1.19 there, and 12 cents here. So um, this one was kind of a toss-up. Uh, none of, none of uh, Seodity or Shear didn't really perform that well, but the uh, the search volume um, is more accurate, and Seodity is what it's looking like. Let's do one more keyword, guys. Um, if you guys have made it this far in the video, um, you guys are awesome. You guys are, uh, my true, um, subscriber of, uh, you know, just fans, um, and my fan base. And I just really appreciate you guys, um, watching these videos all the way through. If you made it all the way to this part of the video, say, Hey, you know, I made it this far. I made it all the way to the end. Um, it just really helps me uh, keep going. I went out and bought these tools, even though I wasn't sure I was going to buy any of these tools. I definitely wouldn't have bought both tools. But, uh, but this is for you guys. I went and bought both these tools so I can do these proper tests and, um, and really do a proper, um, uh, review and comparison for you guys. So, um, again, I warned you that this was going to be a long video. This video may end up being about an almost an hour long. I don't put hour long videos up generally, but and this one, I think it really does deserve that. So let's keep going. We're going to do um, how to plan for retirement. Let's go and check this out. We're going to start off right here. Search. We're going to go here. Search. And we'll go with Uber Suggest and search. So we're looking at a thousand volume 78. It's a very difficult keyword and almost $10 cost per click. So uh, this one, uh, meanwhile, is still trying to find the information. So we'll go to COTD, um, uh, how to plan for retirement. We've got a hundred uh, difficulty scores. So just be, just stay away from it. $15. So it's even $5 higher, but it does have the, the search volume in COTD is definitely very accurate with the, uh, another larger tool like Uber suggests. So that, um, I do like that. Let's go in here and um, no results. Please make a new search. So this tool or this keyword, how to plan for retirement as a thousand search volume, and it's not even in Sheer SEO's database. So um, I will, uh, I mean, Sheer is getting docked. They just don't have a large uh, keyword data set. Um, wherever they're getting their information from is just not, uh, it's just not going to work for me. So we're going to move uh, through. I think we kind of did everything. Um, let's just go and do one last thing. Uh, check um, the stats for um, our site. So the rank trending, we have keywords. Um, this is just your rank tracker. You can move, I think, view in full screen, print chart. Okay, so those are just the different options. Keyword changes, we have six, uh, uh, five unchanged, six up. Uh, organic traffic uh, right here. Um, you have some different stats, right? Trust flow, citation flow 20, trust flow 7, um, and rankings average Google rank is 115. And we'll come through here. Monthly estimated visits uh, is saying zero right there. Um, maybe it hasn't had enough time to kind of, and there's a boarding status right here. So um, these are different tasks, optimized pages. Um, and I'm not going to be able to go into everything like the SEO audit. Um, there's a lot of different things. Unfortunately, this video would end up being two hours long. Um, but there you can all, you can do on page SEO. Um, and I'm just going to make a guess that probably share SEO has a better on page SEO, uh, tool. Um, you do have on site over here with COTD. It's going to go when the analysis ends, COTD will send you an email. So I think I just now launched it to start. But this is the the overall dashboard. It's going to give us citation flow and trust flow. Um, I don't think it even gives us like a domain um, rating um, score or anything like that, which is something that I think most SEO people really need the, that kind of score. And so once you understand what COTD's um, domain average, uh, obviously um, a 350 is really, really strong. Um, we're going to come back over to... Um, the DA is a 37 over here for financial wolves. Um, and then it's a 350 over here. So you'll, you'll understand kind of the chart of where the, this number is. And then you would actually be able to kind of look at this and know where the DA really is anyways. 
Um, but the fact that we can go into here to see uh, already and it, it pulled in 60,000 organic keywords, 72 uh, are actually 89,000 here. And then I believe it pulled in uh, 29,000 um, over here. So COD would be the better tool um, for even competitor analysis because it's pulling in more of a data set. It pulled in more backlinks as well. So um, those are those are the overviews of what you get with those uh, tools. Uh, check keyword trackers on both tools. Um, also the uh, keyword tracker section over here. Let's go through rankings, current. This is what this one looks like again, guys. Um, the advantage probably goes to share because it's going to check up to 200 words. But um, you, um, I think that this only is going to update uh, once a week. You have to keep that in mind, or you have, you have to pay to upgrade to get this to refresh every 24 hours. Um, so that is something that's not good enough. Um, I like to check my keywords once a day. Um, and so that would be... You know, there's an advantage, but then there's also a disadvantage, right? We're going to go into um, COTD. I don't know why it went into another page over here um, under Rank Tracker. We're going to click over here, um, and we can just kind of go and look. Um, yesterday, it's going to give you the percent of change and everything, which we don't have because we just started. Um, but we're going to come through here. You can actually change desktop and mobile. You can specifically look at those different ones, and we're just going to come through here, and it's just going to tell you what the keyword difficulty is cost per click, the best that you've had, search volume here, added when, I like that when it was actually added, I like that, um, to be able to reference like when did you actually start tracking that keyword. Um, wow, that's a, I never seen a $400 um, <laughs> cost per click, um, but there's where you're, um, and then you can actually, not really sure, okay, so you click on that, and it does, it has a nice chart here, um, you can actually take a nice uh, screenshot or, or anything like that. Um, it gives you a nice chart and everything. So really, really cool stuff. Um, so that's what it looks like in COTD. If you guys want to go pick up any of these tools, uh, obviously you can click on the two links below. They will take you over to AppSumo where you can go and check out uh, COTD and Sheer on AppSumo. They're, um, they're both, uh, COTD is $79 for tier one. Sheer SEO is 75 for tier one. Um, and you've only got 10 days for COTD and you've got seven days, seven and a half days or something like that for Sheer. So you can click those links, go pick up these tools. Um, let me go ahead and give a final kind of conclusion for these tools. Um, I'm going to go and uh, score these real quick and I'll be right back. Okay, so the moment you guys have all been waiting for, uh, we have a score based on 30 points right here. We have COTD right here, Sheer SEO. You can obviously see I'm picking COTD as the winner. Uh, we went with UI um, is just COTD wins on UI. I think you guys would agree. It's much faster, cleaner, um, easier to find what you're looking for. Even if you could argue that Sheer SEO is the more powerful tool or has more tools, um, you know, they've got a lot of bugs and speed issues that they're dealing with. And so I'd rather you have a tool that is more accurate and faster to use, cleaner, easier to use um, to do my keyword research. Um, and, and so that's where COTD comes out ahead. Limits, uh, we're going to go with just, I'm mean, just going to stick. I don't, I didn't run into any limit issues uh, you, while I was doing my review. There was nothing that said, oh, you ha must be upgraded to be able to use that feature or anything like that. So I just didn't have the issue. Um, now I know that I didn't export data and things like that. So I know that there's been some issues with COTD. Um, with exporting uh, only uh, like 50 lines at a time. But um, I did read from the uh, creators that they are fixing that. And I think that even this week um, they're releasing it, are going to be letting a lot more data be extracted. So I'm really not going to, you know, dock anyone points on that. Speed and bugs. Um, I just loved how fast COTD was. Um, it just was almost lightning fast and everything that I asked for it to do. And so they just have a better bandwidth and database. Um, you know, and I have no idea. Maybe COTD has a thousand customers and maybe Sheer SEO by this time after five, six months has 50,000 customers. You never know. Or, um, you know, vice versa. But all I know is that it does, that doesn't matter to the customer. I could care less about that. I don't need excuses. You guys aren't looking for people, uh, for companies to have excuses that we weren't, um, we weren't prepared for the traffic that AppSumo was going to give us and blah, 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 blah. And I read that from one of them at the end of the day, um, the speed and everything that I looked at, um, 
Ciotti was very impressive and made me want to log into the system and use the software, right? You also want to enjoy using the software that you're using, guys. And I just was not enjoying um, this this second run of Sheer SEO. I was not enjoying uh, using the tool at all. You saw me have to wait several times. I had to pause the video, um, waited minutes for basic information like keyword research, right? So this is just, um, I could even dock this more if I really wanted to, but we're going to stick with right there. Um, keyword tracker. Uh, let's see. We're, uh, the reason why I docked on this, guys, is that the keyword tracker um, over here, um, you have to, they're only going to update it like every week for you. Um, and you guys can correct me if I'm wrong below, um, in the comments, but it's not going to change the overall score anyways, even if I move this up to a five. But the keyword tracker, um, I just obviously the UI and everything, it was just a little bit better, I think. Um, with COTD. And then also, like I said, um, I think that, that Shear, um, tracks up to 200. They look at 20 pages. So that's really cool. Um, and maybe that's why I gave him a four and not a three. But at the end of the day, I think that even with, uh, even COTD, um, I think that they are more generous. Uh, you get, um, and that's another, um, aspect. You get 200 keywords on uh, tier one over here, but you get 300 tracked keywords on tier two. And that's a lot, right? That's a difference of like 60 to hundred dollars a year. If you pay for like SERP, SERP robot for another robot, um, for, so, um, so yeah, they went on that one as well. Keyword accuracy. Um, I would say that, uh, COTD was better. Um, it was closer. It was spot on with search volume on every test I did. And um, as far as price is right method, the cost per click was closer than sheer SEO as well. The keyword difficulty, I think on two keywords, um, COTD came out ahead and sheer one on one of them. So um, I'm not, none of them get a five, but uh, I'm going to have to give it to COTD on that one as well. And then personal, my sub, my personal subjective opinion would be that, um, COTD is not perfect. Um, it's by any means, um, it's probably not a full, you know, AH refs, uh, SEMrush replacement. Um, I have to, I think that has some things in there that, that you won't be able to get from Uber suggest. Um, but, um, as far as, uh, just looking at overall, um, the amount of keywords that, um, COTD gives you for each, keyword research, um, the speed, the, um, you know, the keyword tracker, the, um, accuracy, um, and just the, the user interface, um, all those things combined, you know, I gave, uh, this one added up to a 28. So, um, I mean, I, I give this one a higher score and sheer uh, goes down with a three. So, so me, my personal preference after this, um, full in-depth test was that, that um, COTD would be the tool that I'm probably going to keep. I don't believe I'm going to even keep uh, Share SEO. Um, you guys let me know what you guys saw, what you guys have experienced with the tools if you've used both. Um, I know most of my reviews are helping you guys to make a decision on what tool is better for you. Um, a lot of you don't probably don't go out and buy all these tools and then do the research. That's that's why I'm I'm here, right? But um, if you are a customer of either tool, you know, you can drop comments below what your experience has been. Um, it, do you agree with my results? Do you agree with, um, with just the findings and the overall? So the overall winner is COTD. Um, like I said, I'll, I'll, I, I'm impressed enough that I'm going to hold on to the tool. I'm going to keep COTD. Um, I have to decide if I'm going to keep Shear. I may just uh, get a refund and uh, buy another tool for you guys so I can do a, a proper research for you guys. So um, I just did not enjoy using this tool uh, this time, uh, Shear SEO. Like I said, buggy, slow. And I understand, you know, you can be in the long haul for these tools. You can wait, you know, six months and maybe it'll end up being that um, really powerhouse tool that you're wanting it to be. But, um, for me, um, I, I want to see from the ground up that they actually, you're able to use the tool without it being slowed down and, um, all that kind of stuff. Um, and so it's impressive. I know that COTD probably has a ton of customers that have come on. It's a very impressive tool, um, to say the least. So hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, if you guys could do a, uh, just do me a favor and hit that like button. It really helps uh, the channel out, helps the video reach more people. And then um, if you are watching this content in this video and you're not subscribed, um, it would be really cool if you had subscribed to the channel. I'd like to grow the channel to 5,000 subscribers. It'd be really, really cool. You don't want to miss out on these um, really in-depth um software reviews. I'm very passionate about it. I love doing this for you guys. And 
it helps me to continue doing this on a daily basis to have that drive and motivation to keep looking at these tools, researching the tools, delivering the content that you guys are asking for and so forth. So again, thank you guys so much. Um, drop a comment below that you watched the entire video and I want to see how many people I can actually get that say that they watched the whole video, which is super cool because this is the longest video that I've po published on this channel. All right. See you guys in the next one.